In this lecture, I am going to show you how to create a PHP program that will access the database that we had created in an earlier lecture. I'm going to break this up into two parts. The first piece will uh, do a simple query to get the information that's in the database, and then I'll create another um, program that will add data to the database. So let's start by first creating our program. So I'm going to create something called get wish list. And we create the um, PHP entries. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, create a connection. So connection DB and then I'm going to um, create query, execute, and process data. All right, so first let's do the uh, connection to the database. So I'm going to do my SQL I variable equals new my SQL I local host and the CSA 383 user. I believe the password is just password and the name of the database is wish list. Okay, simple enough. Next thing I'm going to do is construct my query. And so I'm just going to basically select um, don't remember the fields, Let's see, let me look them up. Let's see, not there, here. Okay, so the field names were here. Oh, well, turned out. So gift name, four person, description, catalog number, and price. So I'm going to just get all of those. Actually, we'll just get the gift name, four person, and uh, let's say the price. Select gift name, four person, price from. And this is Christmas. Wait, it's the. Where do I have this name? Yeah, it's the Christmas table. Okay. So that's my um, that's my query. And let's go ahead and do a. We'll do an order. By or person. Okay. And now I'm going to actually execute the query. So my SQL I real query I how to spell query. And I'm going to put the result into a variable called result. So it's MySQLI store result. Um, and so now what I can do is uh, I can create a loop that will basically go through each of the um, rows that we get back. Um, I'm going to uh, use um, the fetch array. Uh, method and what it's going to do is create an associative array for me. So I'm going to put this all in a while loop. So while row equals result fetch array, and then I'm passing a parameter here that says what type of array I want it to fetch. 
So it's going to fetch a associative array. There's actually a method called fetch associative, I believe, um, that I could just use as well. I'm going to use this version here for now. And then I'm just going to print out the results, so echo. And let's see, it's a gift name. Let's do, we'll print a person first. So it's row for person. And then I want to see, get the gift name. Row. And then I'm going to print out the price. So let's do this as this. break in there. Okay, so that's my whole loop. So basically here, I'm, if you look at this, I'm using this associative array um, uh, indexing, and the index is just the, basically the name of the, uh, the field. So when we use this fetch array, what it does is it constructs this associative array with the indexes being uh, the names of the uh, of the fields in the table. All right, so let me finish here by creating the results. And so that should be my whole thing. So let's uh, let's do this query and uh, resize this. Should be in my gpp slash wish list php. Um, no, what directory did I put it in? Public HTML php slash get wish list. So there it is. For Jerry, I'm getting the Lego Star Wars Death Star 399. So um, anyway, so that's uh, that's the uh, that's a basic uh, query for doing a select. Uh, you know, I could create the whole web page off of this uh, piece here with this loop. I could use this loop to construct my table, and I could have a list of of uh, all the elements that. Um, are in the database that are recording um, what gift is for what person. So anyway, in the next uh, lecture, I will create another um, uh, program. This one will be used to add items to the database. So anyway, this concludes this lecture.